全地山河气美，你将你的荣耀彰显在全地之间。主啊，你的名在全地山河气美，你将你的荣耀彰显在全地之间。You are so blessed, Amen. Jesus loves you so much. Especially First Presbyterian Church. You have a good pastor, Pastor Pan. You have a good, good people nearby you. Okay, uh, this is one of my uh, favorite uh, Bible verse. Yeah, about a year ago, I, I came here to preach. Right. And today, right, and Jesus, right, Jesus called Levi, who is Matthew. Right? Right. Okay. So it, Jesus is a doctor, right? Right. Right. And um, when you sit, where do you go to get him cured? If you have a toothache, you will see a dentist. What if you are soul and spirit having problem? Who stand? Who should deal with your problem? Every single one of us having problem. Today, right? Right. What kind of problem? Family problem. Financial problem. Or the relationship problem, mental problem, on and on and on, right? And do you know what kind of ministry did Jesus? He did three different kinds of you know ministry. Preaching word of God, and teaching, and healing. And today, Bible verse, Jesus called Levi, whose name is Matthew. Matthew was tax collector at the tax collector booth. In today, uh, like the CPA, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And and and, tech, and and Matthew was tax collector at the time and. And tax collector Levi was isolated by Jews. A tax collector also Levi was kicked out from the synagogue. And, and tax Levi departed their heart from God and their parents. And also tax Levi who lost his faith because of money. And Jesus changed Levi name to Matthew. Meaning of Matthew is a gift of God. Right? And Jews had a hard time from uh, oppressors of the Roman government. And, and tax collector was among them that they took away money from the Jewish pocket. And I have a question for you. Do you love Jesus? Amen. Amen. Yes? yes. God is a living God. You come to worship God today. Do you feel the presence of the Holy Spirit today? Amen. Amen. No, you don't know? He's here, right? Yes. Right. And 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 did you ever encounter Jesus in your life? Do you believe Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? 
If you do, say Amen. Jesus calling us to serving Him. Amen. And Matthew obey Jesus calling. Even myself. I used to be a businessman. I know how to make money. If you want to make money, let me know. <laughs> But after I got called from God, I give up all my business. So I had to spend 14 years like like a wilderness hardship, financial hardship. But by the grace of God, He always taking care of me and family and everything. I don't want to go back to businessman. Because I got called from God. She just saw him. She just saw the Matthew told him, follow me. What if you were Matthew? Then can you get up and follow him right away without hesitation? Matthew would have better life if he did not follow Jesus Christ. He would make a lot of money to have better life and comfortable his life. But he given up his comfortable life. Why? Because Jesus called him. When Jesus is calling you, you should follow him immediately. No hesitation. Father, I have a beautiful house. I have, I have a good business. Father, I have a good degree. It doesn't matter. When he calls you, you have to obey right away. Amen? It is, not, yes, it is not easy to follow him. Do you think it is easy to follow him? Not really. Not really. Right? It's easier to go and, and make money, to you know, go to work and then you get paid. It's, it's easy. Okay, about three months ago, and my wife told me, David, you should you should go and, and have a job. <laughs> and then you know what? I, I went to Fold E and, and to find a chicken delivery job. <laughs> and then my, my wife said, you must make money. You graduate, you know, the university and the, the a seminary. Now it's time to you have responsibility to you know make money to support your family. And then I got interview and then I, they hired me. And then and then and the business owner said I give you ten dollar an hour. After interview, she said she changed her mind. I give you nine dollars. <laughs> and then I I came home and then I went to the church nearby my home. Every day I go to church and then and pour my heart to God. And then I and then I was very uncomfortable with my spirit. 
And then I've been through many, many different kinds of work. Uh, a daily store, you know, dry cleaner store, you know, supermarket manager, you know. Wait, you name it. Except, you know, nails on, everything I did. <laughs> And then that night I, I spent time with the prayer with God. Father God, I want to serve you. I want to preach the word of God. Show me the miracle. Financial miracle. So then I I can I can go for it. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Two weeks later, I received the check. Scholarship. Even I graduated last year. And I received the scholarship, $2,000. That was my sign to God called me. He confirmed my prayer. And then and then use that money. I with the two thousand dollar I open up. I open up the you know the bank account for the, my new church. The new church name is the Living Grace Alliance Church. And then God gave me beautiful church in the visual department. And then one day I was praying and the Holy Spirit spoke to me, you have to call Mr. Kim. And I was so busy. <laughs> when God 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 told speaking to my my heart and then, then mine, I must obey right away. I was so busy, I couldn't and pay attention. And, and then a couple days later, I called you know Mr. Kim and Mr. Kim, I'm looking for the uh, church place to worship. At that time, I didn't have I, I didn't have the, I didn't have enough money. I I went to the you know Broadway uh, to rent the you know the you know, church. They said, Pastor David, you have to pay six, eight thousand dollars, three months deposit, one month you know rent, eight thousand dollars you have to pay for. After I called Mr. Kim and he did, Mr. Kim called me back about three days later, and then they Pastor David, I have a, I have a new. Church for you. I found new church for you. And between Pastor Kim and then now the place of church, you know, the senior pastor are best friend. I pay four hundred dollars for rent. And Monday through Friday, I have a morning worship. And Sunday, 11 o'clock, we have a worship. It is impossible new plan church to have a, you know, 11 o'clock worship. That's why I, when I pray, when you pray, when you listen, when you hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, we should obey. When God calling you, what would you do? Today, many earthly life is very busy. Speedy and complicate make a living today. Even I have a three son, I, I recently have a new baby born. And during the last two years, right? Last two years. 
I raised my two sons, right? So busy. You know, mommy's life so busy. Cleaning, laundry, you know, cooking, shopping, dropping off, back and forth, prayer, and then, you know, do ministry on Tuesday, you know, the, you know, on and on and on, study, you know, pray. I get crazy. I know we're busy. We're busy every day, right? But I don't want you to you know, miss the chance to meet Jesus. You have a beautiful church, don't you? Amen? But God given you church. What is this church for? This is a house of prayer. This church is for household prayer, for the kingdom of God. You know, and, and I moved from um, Foley to the River Edge about you know about a year ago, right? I was looking for the place to pray. You know, every church is closed. But your church is twenty four seven open. <laughs> Do you love Jesus? Amen? Amen, Amen or no man? <laughs> yes? yes? Give your life to Christ. Amen? Amen? Come to your church and pray for the God, kingdom of God, and pray for your pastor. Pray for your, 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 your congregation member. Pray for the kingdom of God. Because he loves you, he cares for you. He's calling you to pray and evangelizing Jesus Christ. People are not awakening. People are awakening for the word, not for Christ. And then one day one of the you know church members said to me, right? Oh, you know what? You know, fish price is very high. It's, it's too 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 expensive. I can't get this fish. She told me that. And I told her. You know what? The 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 best way you can do. Get the fish, free fish. And you have to take the back boat. <laughs> and then you have to fish him. <laughs> and, then <laughs> and then if you catch the fish, you're, you're, you're good. <laughs> if you don't catch the fish, <laughs> if you pay for the, you know, all the, you know, the admission for the, you know, the boat, right? <laughs> just buy fish and then just pay for it, right? So some people, you know, they did hard work, right? But we must pay price. No pain, no gain. <laughs> no pain, no gain. Amen. Amen. So people say, "Oh, I love Jesus Christ. I love, I love Him so much." And then they don't pray. They don't read the Bible. You know, they do whatever they want. They don't listen to the pastor. Oh, I do my way. Come on. I'm smarter than you. Come on, you're foolish. <laughs> Brother and sister, no pain, no gain. <coughs> Jesus said, if you want to be my disciple, <laughs> deny yourself. <laughs> Carry on your own cross. Then follow me. Is that easy? Say something easy? No. Not easy, right? Why? We need to get proper discipline by God, by pastor. You know, we must get discipline. People, they don't get discipline spiritually. 
They can do whatever they want. People never, never, never listen to the word of God. Matthew, Matthew obey God, right? Jesus Christ, right away. Time is running out. One day you will die, I will die. You, you sit in front of God. What would you tell him? What have you done for your life? You should have, you should have answered the question from God. You know, in 14 years in my life, it was so hard. You know, God, God made me uh, discipline, you know, relationship discipline, financial discipline, you know, you know, all kind of discipline. He put me in. But I trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. We're not trusting the Lord on, on people. We are not perfect. No. So you, you know, today when when and then Levi and uh, Matthew invite you know Jesus Christ and his disciples and other people, right? There are, there are many tax collectors and sinners were eating with him, right? And then verse, eight, verse 16, when the teacher of the law who were Pharisees saw him eating with the sinner and tax collector, asked his disciple, why does he eat with the tax collector and sinner? Thank you. We have to see ourselves. We have we have to see our, ourselves our sin. We 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 have a, we have we have a, a easy to you know judge other people. This person terrible. They have a lot of bunch of sin. But we don't look at us. You and I, we are a sinner. Amen. You don't know. You and I are sinner, right? Amen. That's why Jesus Christ died for on a cross to spill his blood. You know what the Jesus said on verse 17? It is not the healthy who need a doctor. But the sin, I have not come called the righteousness, but sinner. Dear brother and sister, every moment of day, we need Jesus Christ. We need Jesus Christ. Amen? When you sin, you have to come to Jesus. Lord, I have sinned. I have committed sin. Lord, forgive my sin. Forgive my sin with your blood. People not unconscious. People not unconscious. They, they, they lose their heart. By grace of God, you and I, we have been worshipped to Jesus Christ. Why? Because Jesus Christ died for you and spilled all his blood. On our soul. What are you depending on your life? Money? Nice car? Nice house? That's not it, is it? That's not it, is it? You must depend on Jesus Christ. You know why people are so busy? Making money. Make a leave. I've seen so many Asian people. Family problem. They, they go to good school. They're doctor, lawyer. 
said, they have a lot of problems in their home. Why? They never met Jesus. Bring your problem to Jesus. He is our hope. He is coming back. He is the second coming back. Cry out for the kingdom of God. Heaven and hell is real. God did not create hell for, our, for ourselves. But people want to go to hell. They don't accept Jesus Christ. They are so busy. You are so blessed. Amen? When you come to church, praising Him with your heart, with your mind, with your strength, God is real. God is a real God. My God is Jesus Christ. He is real God. He hears us when I pray. He hears when you pray. He answers your prayer. Amen? Prayer and reading scripture and then evangelizing people. What is your goal in your life? Just living a beautiful house and a beautiful nice car and then you know nice mansion. Is that is that your goal and dream? If you have those kind of goal, you may not be in the wrong place. Brother and sister, you cannot serve two masters. Money or God. I'm taking God. Not money. I'm taking God. He loves you. He cares for you. He cares for you, your soul, everything. Who loves Jesus Christ? Raise your hand. Jesus is calling you today. You have to obey. You have to obey his commandments. You have to worship him. You have to cry out to the Lord. Do you have a desire to meet Jesus Christ? Amen. Love church, love your church member, love your pastor, and pray for the pastor, pray for the kingdom of God. And I had I had a lunch with my uh, missionary, my denomination missionary. Jesus Christ loves you and died for you. 
and he is coming back. Like, worse decision like me, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not able to speak the word of God today. Even I'm a sinner, he washed away my sins. And you are sick. He loved you so much. Do you feel? Do you feel the presence of the God? That's why we worship God. It doesn't matter if you're smart or you're not, you're not smart. It doesn't matter if you're rich or you're poor. It doesn't matter if you're handsome or you're not handsome. You have a Jesus Christ in your heart. You have everything. There's only hope in Jesus Christ. There's no other hope we need. I'm the way, true, and the life. We have to worship God in your home, in church, and tell people Jesus is second coming. Amen. When Jesus calling you, when Holy Spirit calling you. You have to listen and then you have to give up and follow him. You know Matthew? He was martyred in Ethiopia. In, in AD 63 around. He would have a better life. How much do you love Jesus Christ? Do you love Jesus Christ in your heart? In your mind? In your strength? In your soul? Serve him, pray him. You know, you have to pray for you know, his kingdom. One day, Jesus second coming, he was saying to so us, you are good, faithful servant. We have to, we have to serve him. He loves you so much. More than money, more than diamonds, more than, more than Mercedes, more than BMW. He loves you so, amen? On the cross. Like we are sinners, he clean, he cleans up all our sins. Let's pray. Father God, we so thank you so much. We are sinners. We judge so many people or forgive us our our old debt. Father, I pray, I pray for the First Presbyterian Church. In the name of Jesus, I bless this church. In the name of Jesus, I bless the church member. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you know, you know, kingdom of God. Lord, let the Holy Spirit anointing every one of us. When Jesus calling us. We have to obey right away. We don't know today. We don't know tomorrow. We do believe in Jesus Christ. Father, thank you so much. And then even, even, even 
Even though we are sinners, we love you. We love you so much. We want to give our life to God. And give us, give us, the, give us the power of the Holy Spirit. And serve Him. And especially, I pray for the Pastor Pat. And protect Him. Let Him rejoice in Christ over there. And then let the, our church member pray for the kingdom of God. And let our, if our church member is awakening. And pray for the kingdom of God. And we are, we are, we want to pray you for your kingdom. Lord, thank you so much for your grace. And your mercy. In the name of Jesus, I bless every one of us. Amen.